Oh, welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Harvest Moon DS Cute. Getting into the family life. All right, after an hour and a half of safe scumming, I finally got the child sprite that I wanted, and she's so adorable. <laughs> Good morning, mommy. <laughs> and also did the cat spam at her to get her at 255 friendship. So I don't have to worry about giving her like any other gifts. I, I guess if you wanted to give her like normal items, she likes a lot of flowers, wild grapes, grape juice might be easy because you can just buy a stack from Karen's supermarket. Yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> it took me forever to get this sprite, to get Flora's uh, color palette. For some reason, the game, the most like likely color scheme I would get was Lumina's color scheme. I don't know why it, the game liked giving me that one that much. Maybe because Lumina's child is on the cover, the box art. Um, second place was actually Nami's, uh, Nami's look, which is what we got last time at the end of the last episode. And then Celia and Muffy's child is just like equally rare. Like I got them occasionally, but not much. But yeah, it took me an hour and a half to get Luna to look like this. <laughs> I'm happy though. I got I got to get a girl. I got she's really pretty. I love her. I love her eye color. Kind of reminds me of like Sheba from from Golden Sun. Go work now. All right. So, um, we are now three years into the future. You can see if you check your save file. Um, this is before we gave birth. This is after we gave birth. The game does like a three year time skip on your game file for some reason. Um, there are some changes that we should probably check out. Um, most notable change on the map is that area right over here, which we'll warp to. <laughs> you can look at it on the map too, but we have the teleport stone, so we'll just check it out. This whole empty area here that's by Gallon and Nina's and like the your old farmer's grave and the hot spring is now... These seem kind of dangerous. <laughs> we enter in here. We did see these people in a dream sequence sequence, but we never really got introduced to them before. But these are two completely new characters for this game. We have Mimi. Let me introduce myself. I'm Mimi from Barney Circus. My husband is the ringleader. Barney, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so I to give her that laugh. The circus is open, but we're not doing business right now. Why would you open a circus in such a, like, an out of the way town. Another member of the circus ran away at night. It's terrible. What? I just have to keep on working hard. And here's Barney. <laughs> he looks kind of weird. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I'm Barney, Master Barney Circus. Very glad to meet you. Welcome to the Barney Circus. A guest. But I have no workers, so I can't put the circus on. So it's just them two. No, no other performers. Uh, it looks like Mimi is some sort of sort of performer. She's dressed that way. Barney just looks like the MC, <laughs> the the guy who announces everything. But yeah, I guess they don't have any like stage hands or whatnot. Yeah, but I don't know why you would set up business here. It's such such a small town. You're not gonna get that many that many patrons. But this is a new area here. I really don't know much about these characters because I never really got to the point where I had a kid. It just... It's like you get- I got like so far in the game, but then these characters get introduced so late in the game that it's like not- I don't know much about them. And yeah, there's some other differences. Some happy, some sad. We have some sad news here. Um... That character's missing. <laughs> oh. Hold on, what is it? Yeah, so after Nina helps us, uh, helps us, uh, midwife and give birth to our child, um, uh, she's no longer around here. She is no longer of this world. Um, kind of similar to how a wonderful life worked. She croaks after our kid is born. <laughs> Alright, uh, ooh, people are leaving. We're going. Here we go. Another change. Um, they aged up some of the kids. So Hugh is no longer a child. He is now kind of like the teenage stage. 
Uh, he looks a little bit different than I remember him in A Wonderful Life, but yeah, he kind of just looks short. But here's here's Hugh, his grown-up glory. Yeah, I mean, not valleys out in the country, but unlike the town, it's more relaxing. Have you ever been in town? And then the other child in town, if I can find her. We have Kate. She's grown up as well. She looks kind of weird. <laughs> her nose. Her nose. I don't know. Her nose kind of blends into her freckles, which is like, hmm. What? Do you want something from me? How's your husband? Tell him I said hi. Oh, okay. How about no? <laughs> He's mine, bitch. No. <laughs> Alright, uh, I, I do need to get Kate's affection up to at least 100 for an event on Monday, so how about I do that? I can find the cat. Um, bu -bu -bu. yeah, that's pretty much the main differences. There's gonna be a lot more cutscenes to do just because not only do we have a child, there's also two new characters in town that uh, feature some cutscenes. And then we also have some cutscenes involving the disappearance of Nina. How cute! I wish I had one! Alright, I said I do this 20 times. <laughs> I'm just gonna spam this in your face, my dear. Yes, queen. All right. Let's just get you to 100. I do need to get her to 200 for another event, but maybe we'll do that off screen. We'll just do the minimum. <laughs> I do need to like run around everywhere, spamming the cat, but I'm also kind of wary about who. Who I'm gonna like accidentally trigger a cutscene for. Yeah, Kate's. I like her bows. She does try to copy Lumina's like schoolgirl look. We can, we can imply that like Lumina's outfit, both her old sailor outfit and her like her dress, does look like a like a school uniform for for like a prestigious like all girls school. Kate does take notes. She likes wearing her school uniform as well. I think that's like a common thing in Japan for students to just wear their their uniform because like it's their most like formal wear that they can wear on like a daily basis, and also broadcasts like what their social status is. Their social status as student. Um, alrighty, let's see. I want to go. Let's check out the sprite tree. See if I can... Hey, kid. <laughs> Kid's going on an adventure. Where's Mumu? That reminds me, I need to take care of my cows. Where's Birdie? Oh, I'm sorry, we have no birdies here, Luna. <laughs> we got rid of all the birdies so we could hatch one, but... Nice, we got the sprite tree. Do you have anything new for sale, Jet? Nope, okay. I guess this doesn't work in DS Cute. It's supposed to be once you um, have a child. Once you get married and have a child, you're supposed to get new music records. <laughs> what do I have? I own 15. Can I see which ones I'm missing? Do I have to like... Where is my music records? Not that one. Not that one. That one? Yeah, I got like all these music records <laughs> in the middle here that are- they're supposed to be from like they're supposed to unlock once you get married and like once you have a kid. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Store inventories. When do they unlock? Right shop. We have. Yeah, we're supposed to have like save the homeland. We have, like we're supposed to have like an N64 song, a save the homeland love event, save the homeland winter theme. Uh, Wonderful Life Griffin's Sorrow and a Wonderful Life Poet Song is supposed to unlock after marriage. And then we were supposed to have like three other songs. Actually, no, four others. Five? Five other songs once our kid grows up to the second stage. So maybe, maybe we might have a cascade of unlocks once our child reaches kid stage. So I hope we can get the after marriage ones. Or this. 
Yeah, we don't have Save the Homeland. It plays before memories. <laughs> the very sad song. Alright, that's it. Alright, now what do I want to do? I want to get some events now. Uh, what do I want to get first? <laughs> I want to take care of my cows first. How you doing? Okay, good. I was worried that you were gonna, like gonna be starving today. Luckily, the game didn't force all our cows to get sick just because we couldn't physically feed them for three years. That would suck. <laughs> just all your animals are dead. You think like Kremia is probably like about to kick the bucket now? <laughs> because <laughs> she's like beyond the age that a cow should be living. This is milk you. We have so many milk, milk bottles, I haven't had the time to process all these. Alright, let's wait until around 12 ish. We might be able to get an event today if the game wants me to. Ooh, I'm busy. I got a good crop, so you check on them every day. Farm work might be my calling in life. No more office worker for you. Don't you think it's wonderful when your crops grow big and healthy? Is anyone gonna mention my child? I don't know where my kid is. I bet my kid's probably at the, at the goddess spring. This seems to be a good place for a child. Hopefully he won't fall in. Alright, so there might be a cutscene between 12 and 7 here. Here it is. We have advice for Cliff part one. We have to have a hundred friendship points with Cliff. I'm guessing we can't be married to him <laughs> to get this. Um, and we have to have a child, which means, you know, Nina has to be dead in order for us to get this scene. What's wrong, young one? Why such a sad face? When you become my age, you can tell what a person is going through by their face. You lost someone important. Oh. Guess, uh... Guess they're both kind of sympathizing with each other. I thought so. We had always been together, so I thought nothing of it. But with her gone, I was able to realize for the first time how much she means to me. Guessing Cliff is talking about his mother? When she left, a hole was ripped open in my heart. I hope he's not talking about Milan. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's talking about his his mom, because his story in Friends of Mineral Town is he wandered around and when he finally returned to his like, hometown, he found out that his mother is dead and his sister just like disappeared and like just left town. How can I close up this hole that lies within my chest? Such a hole doesn't seem like it's going to close. It'll take some time. But the hole isn't necessarily a negative thing. It must have been something important in your life. When I lost my beloved, I was very sad about it too, but I learned to accept it. Something important in life. Oh, Cliff. Feels bad, man. It feels so bad. Yeah, that was advice for Cliff. Um, there is a second cutscene for him. We can get either a rainy or snowy Saturday. Who knows? Who knows how the weather is gonna be next week? It's gonna be sunny tomorrow, though. Alright. How about... I guess we should... Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cliff! Don't be sad! Oh, sorry, just zoning out a little. I wasn't ignoring you. Rip, I couldn't, I couldn't fill that hole in his heart with new love. Where the heck is my kid? <laughs> now I want to hunt down my kid. Is Moofy? Ah, what a wonderful weather. I asked Griffin to go to the spring with me on a date, but you refused. Wow, what a... What a butt. <laughs> Doesn't want to go out with his beautiful wife? How dare he? Where is my kid? Have you seen my kid? <laughs> Cliff. I gotta stalk- I gotta stalk my kid from like... 
the moment he leaves the house. She leaves the house. House? <laughs> Getting really tired today. I really wanted to play some, even though I'm like exhausted from working today. Hi, nice Sky. We're so happy together. I almost wish we could share this happiness. <laughs> There's no wife as wonderful as you. I think he says something about your kid if you talk to him in the morning. But that seems to be- his morning dialogue is the one that changes over time. Alright, so we did a Saturday scene. I think there's a cutscene that we could get on Sunday. I'm just gonna like, looking through every day, seeing what I could activate. Hmm. Okay, there's one- there's one other cutscene I can activate today, but... I don't know... If my friendships are high enough with some of these fellas, I do need a hundred. <laughs> oh, Jubilon. You know, is always worried about your child. Take good care of your child for Nina's sake. Okay, I'll try. I also need some friendship with Dr. Hardy. <laughs> Ew, he's, in, he's here. Maybe I, we can just like spam. Spam in the same place. We just need a hundred. Where's the cat? My favorite. <laughs> My favorite animal to spam in people's faces because it's the most, the most liked. The most common. Yeah, a lot of people like the dog too, but most people like the cat. As well as the dog. There's like only one person that likes the dog exclusively and that's Patrick. Alright, fellas! How much do I have to- Okay, you're good. Hey, you're good already. <laughs> it's just you. Alright, it's cute. Alright, it's the dialogue isn't, isn't too long. We can do this. Yeah, today we'll try to get like a bunch of cutscenes. As many as we can. And then, uh... Yeah, I'll do some- we'll do some of the cat spamming off screen as well. But in the meantime, I also kind of want to skip through a lot of days because my priority does want to include like family events. So like celebrating birthdays with the family and also Starry Night. Celebrating Starry Night. Starry Night should be the same this year, but once our kid grows up into a child in two whopping years. Yes, you gotta, you gotta sleep for two years to get to the next stage. Um, we should have, like, a different cutscene for Starry Night. And then two years after that, our kid will be a teenager. And then she won't grow up anymore after that, but I guess we should be lucky <laughs> that we even get our child to teenage stage, because most Harvest Moon games, if you're playing an old one, you either have a babbling toddler and that's all you get, even if your toddler is a hundred years old, or you get a child. And that's, yeah, that's as, like, mature as they get. The only one where they actually fully grow up is a wonderful life, where, like, he actually gets to full-blown adult. And then in a new beginning, um, you could turn your child into a temporary teenager. Which is weird. I guess maybe some audience in Japan just really like to have their kid as a kid, but they give the option to turn him into a teenager for 30 days. It's like, it's kind of weird just giving him a consumable, though. <laughs> to just grow him up. Temporarily. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this activates. Let's just give- let's just pat it out a little bit more. you out here so you don't affect the cutscene. Here we go. This is called a bonsai contest. We have to have Gallon and Hardy add 100 plus friendship points. This happens between 3.30 p.m. and 7 p.m. on a Saturday. I'm guessing when that's the time when Hardy hangs out with Gallon. What do you think? What a splendid bonsai. There's no better bonsai in the world. No way. The bonsai at my home looks way better. Oh, fight, fight, fight. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm not lying. It can't be better. 
There's no bonsai in the world that's better than this. Nina bonsai. You named it Nina? Oh no. Now Dr. Harry's gonna feel bad. Maybe I was wrong. This really is a fight bonsai. Oh, he concedes. Doesn't want to break the old man's heart, isn't it? Don't you agree? Yeah. Well, whatever helps his patient, I guess. Whatever makes him happy. Nina really has changed a lot. Yeah. Oh, is he talking about Nina turning from a person to a bonsai? <laughs> I, I just went kind of morbid. I was like, yeah, she's underground now. Nina. Oh. God, it was so hard for Galen, too, when they when they just, like, killed off Nina. In chapter two, like, it was so hard to befriend him. He was always grumbling, and he, he was, like, impossible to gift. And he would, he would go to the bar at night saying, like, oh, this is, like, medicine for me. He was just trying to drink away his sorrow. When before, when Nina was alive, he would just go on walks. Nina was a fine lady. I knew her since she was a little munchkin. How? How did I know, you ask? Everyone has their secrets. It's a secret. <laughs> Dr. Hardy is a cyborg. Sometimes it feels like Nina is still by my side. Maybe she's by my side every day watching over me. Maybe we can do like the grave... The grave washing minigame. <laughs> And see her creepily enough. Alright. Well, I saw that cutscene. I guess we should go to bed. Go to bed and see some more. Well, our child is back. I think our child comes back by six, because that's when events say <laughs> about to shove the cat in Thomas's face. Would you like to see my pet? Oh, he's gone. He leaves fast. Sky, do you know where our child is? I don't care about how happy we are. Where's Luna? Where is she? I worry about her. Eerie. Okay, she's coming home. Who lets their kid out? Wandering around unattended. Until 6 p.m. Lucky this is a safe town. Mommy, let's play horsey! Come play with me, Mommy! <laughs> cute, little, cute little face. Okay. Um, let's save. We'll save over this file in case if something happens. Like, I always just scum, scum another child. Save over file one. Now well, let's go to bed. We should actually get a cutscene tomorrow. We'll We'll do it twice. Um, we have to won our kids at 200 plus friendship points, and our spouse is at 60,000 or above, so at a red heart, we'll get this event. This event happens in spring and summer. It says it's repeatable, but I've never had it repeat on me, so we'll just reload and do it again. Hey, Mal, rise and shine. What's up? It's a gorgeous day out. How about we go out for a change? Let's take a day off. Yay, Pitnit! Pitnit! <laughs> Pitnit! <laughs> picnic! <laughs> Luna wants to go on a picnic with you, too. Well, what do you think? Let's go. <laughs> Great, even you deserve some time to relax. I can't seem to decide between the spring or the beach. You can decide, Mel. Uh, well, since it's optional, let's go to the spring. I think Sky's <laughs> Sky probably looks better at the spring than the beach. I feel like it, the beach would just sizzle his this porcelain white skin, but I feel like he would just he, he would just burn at the beach. <laughs> let's go to the spring, though. <laughs> Sweet with Mama, with Mama, yay! <laughs> That's great, Luna. Well, let's get on over to the spring now. Here we are. This spring is always pretty and it puts my mind at ease. Mal is by me too. I wish things could stay like this forever. Papa, over here! Come over here! 
<laughs> Nuna is having fun too. I'm so glad that we came. Don't go out too far, Luna. The sprites might kidnap you, dear. <laughs> what a great picnic. We ought to do this again. And it's raining. <laughs> we lost a day, really? <laughs> the whole day? Alright, let's be loud. Let's see how the other option is like. Maybe we'll get a sunny day. I guess it doesn't matter whether we got rain or rain or sun because our animals are still in. Hey Mal, rise and shine. My kid is standing on the table. <laughs> That's just a weird perspective on my part. It's a gorgeous day out. How about we go out for a change? Let's take the day off. Yay, pitnit, pitnit! <laughs> Luna wants to go on a picnic with you too. Well, what do you think? Let's go! <laughs> Great, even you deserve some time to relax. I can't seem to decide between the spring or the beach. You can decide, Mal. Let's go to the beach! Sweet! With Mama! With Mama! Yay! <laughs> That's great, Luna. Well, let's get on over to the beach now. Here we are. This beach is always pretty and puts my mind at ease. Mel is by me, too. I wish things could stay like this forever. Papa, over here! Come over here! Alright. The event does play out the same, no matter what you pick, but... <laughs> Luna's having fun, too. I'm so glad that we came. Don't go out too far, Luna. What a great picnic. We ought to do this again. Alright, still raining. Rip. <laughs> oh well. Good morning, Mommy. <laughs> go work now? I got yeah, I gotta go work now. It's also Monday. I was hoping to do a Sunday event, but we get I guess we skipped that day. Uh what can we do on Monday? I think there's an event I can get. Uh, with Mary, because it's Monday, but we have to wait until around 2 p.m. So we got some time to kill. Then let's see if my animals are all sick, because we didn't feed them for a day. A whole whopping day, and they're probably mad at me. Look, okay, you're healthy. Healthy. Healthy, I'm pretty darn lucky, I guess. Healthy. Can I get like this lucky when I had the weddings? All those weddings that prevented me from feeding my animals. Let's see if I barely hear some of the sounds through my headphones. My headphones are just like dying. Rip headphones. Go some food. For all y'all. Alrighty. What do I do in the meantime? <laughs> How are we doing on time? Don't want to like spam too hard, but maybe just getting some characters to like 100 will help me get some events. <clears throat> Do, do, do. Oh god, this <laughs> rip. Uh, okay, cat, I gotta, gotta just too many too many rocks in the way. Let's see. Do you guys both like the cat? Now oh, that's cute. Are you raising it on the ranch? What a fulfilling life. Oh yes, cats. Having a cat makes you very fulfilled. <laughs> Can't be a member of the circus if you don't like animals. <laughs> I guess if you have circus animals like lions or elephants. Although, <laughs> kind of crazy. <laughs> I, I, I think I remember going to a circus once. And there was, like, the lion tamer. There. He loved all his lions. But it was so dangerous. <laughs> like, we almost saw him get attacked on stage. It was, like, very sketchy. 
For some reason, though, the male lions were super lovey-dovey with him. But, like, the female lions... Like, the female lions wanted to eat him. Maybe he spent more time raising the males as, like, cubs. Like, the females are just, like, a little bit more testy. But yeah, <laughs> working with those animals can be kind of dangerous. I know there's, like, a lot of controversy, too, like... Raising that kind of wildlife just for... Just for performing, though, because it is pretty stressful, like, being in the crowd. And, like, having them do tricks. Yeah, you know, some, sometimes it's kind of neat, though. Like, especially at, like, the horse shows. And, like, you see, you see horses train for, like, a lot of things. It's kind of nice to see, like, the choreographed, uh, horse riding. There's a lot of dialogue spamming, and I don't like it. <laughs> Not sure what cutscene I'm aiming for with Mimi, either. Uh, I know there's a few where she, she has to be at 200. But is there any I can activate at 100? So hard, like, trying to go through this whole list. I pick out the one I need. Is one at... One or Barney has to be... At 100. I might not have to do this. There's one with Barney at 100, and one with Mimi at 100, but it's winter season only. Yeah, we'll just get Mimi to 100, and then we'll heck off. <laughs> we'll, t we'll, we'll spam her off screen. It'd be more fitting to use our time, just uh, letting time flow by. Be a member of the circus if you don't like animals. It takes- it takes so much longer when they have two dialogue boxes versus one. You have to wait for the- the text to scroll by. Trying to go as fast as I can. Mistakes have been made. Be a member of the circus, blah blah blah. Seven. <laughs> Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. I wonder what's so different in winter. Like, they seem to have a few events in winter, so I wonder if this place changes in winter time. Maybe they actually go in business. The circus is open, but we're not doing business right now. Another member of the circus ran away at night. It's terrible. I just have to keep on working hard. I wonder what happened. I feel like some scandal might have happened and that's why they had to move here. <laughs> A lot of the characters in this game, uh, that seems to happen to them. Something just terrible happens to them in life and then they go to Forget Me Not Valley. Like the Muffy, Muffy scandal at work or Marlon getting sick at work. All that. What else? I mean, Lumin Lumina's parents kicking the buckets. <laughs> I mean, at least Gallon and Nina had like a nice retirement. They just wanted to retire to the countryside. They just wanted some peace and quiet. With uh, Wally and Chris and Hugh, it's kind of weird that they came over here, but I think the story goes that Wally was was a professional athlete, but then he got injured and now he just teaches instead. But he still tries to like run every day, but he's not as fast. <laughs> he's not as fast as he used to be. Now he's just kind of thrusting his dream on Hugh. And who knows why Griffin's here, just wanted a quiet bar. And we have all those weird, weird people in the south. Mary's here. I think Mary's friendship has been unchanged. Yeah, for the most part. 
It's a nice story. Everyone's friends here. <laughs> well on, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome indeed. What do I do? I just I just got a milker spam, I guess. Oh, my husband's awake actually. Let me talk to them while he's still awake in the morning. Or before it passes. Before this time passes. Luna resembles you, how cute. I guess he he does take like the form of the farmer just kinda looks like Jill or Pony. And that she has a ponytail, but that's pretty much it when she gets older. <laughs> as soon as a child sees me, the child comes and hugs me. Oh boy, probably, probably gonna be like competing for daddy's love, like <laughs> like the whole anime skit where the child's like, I'm gonna marry daddy, and like, no you can't! I'm married to daddy. I forgot about my mushrooms, these exist. But, like, the child doesn't mean it in a weird way, it's just that they, they love their dad so much that they think getting married means that you get to live with him forever. <laughs> it's nothing, like, explicit. And then they get older and they, they get embarrassed about it. Like, that's not what I meant. Hopefully I can get this. Can I get this on a rainy day? I actually haven't checked. We're gonna find out now. Let's see. That's Monday. It doesn't say weather. It just says go to the Lo Romana's mansion lobby. I think I'm still good. And both Kate and Mary have 100 plus friendship points. So I did spam Kate the other day, so she should be satisfied for now. Do staggering. There she is, yeah. Alright, she doesn't go anywhere else on a rainy day. I hear you're a novelist, Mary. Is that really true? Yeah, for the time being. Wow, this is my first time meeting a novelist in the flesh. Didn't you see her here when you were a kid? I'm so excited! I feel so embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I want to be a novelist too. Really? You must like books then. Yes, I just love books. I'm glad I can meet someone who likes books. What kind of books have you written, Mary? Hmm, let's see. One that comes to mind are... Let's go to Mineral Town and The Goddess's Love, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds like titles of- The first one just sounds like a title of a game. <laughs> let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, let's go to Mineral Town. And the goddesses love- That sounds kind of raunchy, is that a- Is it- is it- <laughs> Is that an erotic novel, Mary? We getting an on with the Harvest Goddess? Oh, you wrote those, but the name was different. Oh, that's my pen name. Oh, so that's it. A lot of authors hide behind a pen name just to get some anonymous, <laughs> just to be anonymous, gonna, gonna get tongue-tied. And also, sometimes having a pen name is a lot more catchier than your actual name. What is it? It's settled. I'm gonna be your pupil. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Um... I'm Kate. Kate, was it? Please stop, I'm not your mentor. No, yes you are. This isn't good. <laughs> oh no, Kate's just imposing now. She does have that imposing personality. I definitely want to learn from you. Uh, uh-oh. Mary, run. Skip town. Leave. You can come back in like a few months, maybe she'll forget. All right, that well, that was the apprentice part one. There, there will be a part two, but that one also happens in the winter. There's like all these cutscenes, <laughs> a bunch of cutscenes happen in the winter for some reason. I don't know why. All right. 
Anything else we should do? Other than sleep. Is there anything that happens on Tuesday? Hmm, <laughs> there's something that happens on Friday and Sunday. And Saturday, if I can get a rainy day. I guess I can wait on the Saturday until... Hmm. I can do one tomorrow. If it's a sunny day. Let's, let's see. Let's save. We're saving over file one. I'm <laughs> trying to keep track of everything. So many cutscenes to do. Go to bread. Alright, no, no picnic, but it's sunny, so. <laughs> Good morning, mommy. How's the weather? Probably not too concerned if it's rainy. Yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna scub it too hard. The grass still isn't fully grown, and it's not that bad. I'm trying to get the cows in when I only have four. <laughs> not completely awful. I think Robani is still at like six hearts. You really gotta like do the blasted rubbing mini games to even get any affection with them. Here, I'll we'll rub it. I'll brush it too. You're gonna like die before you get to eight hearts. Rub, 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 rub. Good enough, I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Um, brain. I still need to water my mushrooms, and then I gotta kill time until 4.30. What level are you? You're level 9. I'll keep it. Which inventory space do I have? Oops. Let's take get rid of these branches. <laughs> get out of my, my bags. Actually, I don't need to be here. I need to be by the farm shop. Happens at- f it's really small windows, like 4.30 to 5 p.m. on a sunny day. At Vesta's farm shop. And, uh, yeah, our child also has to be at 200 French. Oh, you're here. Maybe I should check your shop. Ooh, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating like a pig. I walked all the way here from town, you know. I open up my shop upstairs at the inner end. Come by and take a look. Okay. I will. I'll swing on by. Opens up around 10-ish, I think. That sounds about right. Oh, what have I been, what have I been doing lately other than just working? Um, been reading more. Hey, I like seeing Flora. I have a kid that looks like you, Flora. My day's off, there really isn't anything to do. <laughs> Drive into the next town al along, I'll stop by Merrilltown for some food. After I- okay, I thought maybe she might mention Doug. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah, what am I- what am I doing? <laughs> I'm, uh, reading... The manga Takane and Hana. I thought I was gonna like get kind of bored of it because it's <laughs> it was like the same jokes. I do like her how she draws her faces. <laughs> she, she makes she makes Takane have like such funny like he's supposed to be a prideful character, so he just has like a stupid shit in eating grin on his face all the time. <laughs> and it's like very pointed, a very pointed grin. I like she did like a little spoof comic where his Grin actually like pokes him in the eye <laughs> because it got too crooked. Yeah, I do like the ex facial expressions are just really funny. <laughs> yeah, and we got to some more interesting bits in the story where 
At first it was just like, oh, Takane just has a bunch of money and was just like trying to shower Hana with, with gifts and flaunt his wealth, but then it's like, hey kid, where you going? There's a nice arc where, oh, you're just gonna look at crops. This is a nice arc where like, Takane hits rock bottom. <laughs> Kind of scummy too, because like his grandpa like disowns him. But I'm like, did he really have to disown him? It wasn't like he was like he didn't he did not do anything. Like he worked for his grandpa's company and actually made him a lot of money. But grandpa's like, you know what? You only got to this point because of my wealth. So I'm gonna have you go to the bottom and claw your way back up. <laughs> Lots of grasses! Ha ha ha! That's funny! What? What's so funny about the grass? <laughs> you nugget? Alright. Yeah, it is kinda... It's kind of weird when you're rooting for like the super prideful character, like he just reaches rock bottom, he loses all his pride, and then... Someone comes to pull him out of that. <laughs> I think about halfway through the series. It, I think it ends at volume 18. I'm over halfway there. <laughs> it's not gonna be like Skip Beat where I'm just like, how much more is there to go? Like, this is an old manga. It should be done by now. Nope. <laughs> Still writing it on volume 48. I'm like, oh. At least I'm not trying to read like One Piece or something or Naruto or some, some other manga where it doesn't seem to want to end some series. Never wants to end, ever. I feel like everything should... Even if it's like... It might be really good... There should be a stopping point somewhere. There needs to be some sort of like satisfying conclusion to like any story. Otherwise... You end up losing interest. <laughs> Not like me and... Naruto when I tried to get into the anime. I was like, why is there so much much blasted side stories and filler episodes. Alright, so 4.30 to 5 p.m. Very short window. Um, you can only get this when your child's at stage one, so it has to be a toddler. Um, grows up beyond that, you're locked out of this event. Come on in, feel free to look around. Look at these eggplants here. There's my kid! You know, Luna. Oh, what have we here, Luna? What are you doing here? I'm here to buy something. Oh, really? What did you come here to buy? Um, vegetables. I see, that's great. Uh, where'd you get that money, kid? She said I'm doing good, Mom. <laughs> Wait just a second. It is kind of cute when your kid, like, does their first shopping experience. <laughs> Here it is. You just give them money and you're like, go to the cashier. Hand, hand the money to the cashier. Here, take these. Oh, wow, lots of vegetables. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. I raised you to be so polite. Bye-bye. Come again. Then she goes home by herself. <laughs> Funny little scene. Gold? It's okay, I got it. Did oh no, did my kid like pay with grass or something? Isn't that sweet trying to shop like adults too? <laughs> oh, I guess my kid didn't actually have any money, it just I'd pretend money. Best it was just humoring her. Okay. Oh, that was a cute little event. You gonna come home, kiddo, soon? Lots of grasses. Yes, there are lots of grasses. Alright, let's go home. I think we can get another event on a Friday. How much time do we have? A little bit of time. We can, we can probably get to Friday. Save over this file. Rainy tomorrow, but oh well. Uh, let's see, for this Friday event, do I need... Do I need the sun? <laughs> That, that's a question. It doesn't say I need sun, so I won't scum. I won't scum for some sun. Actually, 
can want to check this event. Couldn't get this last time, but maybe... <clears throat> maybe since my child is born, I might be able to trigger it. I'm trying to get the one cutscene with Rock after he got married, but... This, if I can't trigger it after the baby... Um, I will probably have to trigger it on a different cartridge and just put it at the end of, like, a different episode. <clears throat> I think Rock goes to the bar on a Tuesday. Just figured it's good to check now. We're already up so late. Oh, I never went to Van. Oh, well, he's, he's here. He's gonna, he's gonna come back on the 13th and the 18th. We can definitely... Come check him out later. Does Rock just not go to the bar anymore? Oh no. Comes to the bar late. At 7. 7 to 10. Nope, this doesn't happen. Even with the baby. <laughs> Someone is getting mad at him a lot more often. Well, if you weren't such a bozo. I don't want to sleep with mommy. Mommy? No? We all sleep in the same bed. What are you talking about? We all sleep together. Uh, yes, well, let's save over this file. I'm just like, did I save over one or two? I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. <clears throat> it's raining. It's pouring. Good morning, mommy. All right, let's just sniffle and. will do. Do it fast. Moo, 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 moo. to play around with the brush, but I'm like, eh. Go, all milked out. <laughs> uh, mushrooms, can't forget about them. I'm like a 10% of the way there <laughs> with the mushrooms. Just for one silly easter egg. Just for one funny. Alright, let's go to bed again. Save. How much I get to Friday? Hopefully this happens. I, I had to have seen part one, but I'm pretty sure I saw part one. Hopefully I don't need friendship with them. <laughs> Or else we're gonna do that off screen. Grass is still growing. Do, 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 do. Get my one point of affection for talking to you. Go, let's get to bed. They water my mushrooms. I should have done that first thing. Okay, let's go to bread. We'll see if it activates straight away. I'm pretty sure Grant has to be in the house. I'm not sure if he works on Fridays. <laughs> I think he does leave the valley pretty darn early. Right, saving over this file. Okay. 
corp. Do it fast. No, oh, no. I might need some more affection of the grant, maybe? It says I don't need any, but it just might be not listed. I'm not sure if it's 100 or 200. Part 1 needed 100, so I'm- I'm guessing... Part 2 is going to need... Yeah, it's gonna probably need 200 if part 1 required 100. Um, okay... Not quite how I wanted to end things off, but... I could keep going. Let's see. I think there's another event I can get on Friday. I'm not sure what time, but I'll check it out. <laughs> Maybe we can end it off this way. It says to go to the Circus 10 on Friday. Here we go. <laughs> um, this one actually only happens in the girl version, so DS Cute exclusive. And only happens on Friday. And Anne has to have 200 plus friendship points. So, yeah, you need a GBA connection as well. This guy can't do anything! Because of him, circus members have run away and no one comes to our performances. I don't know what voice to give Mimi. I feel like she's a foreigner. <laughs> she should just have a funny accent. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up? What's wrong? Hi, Milan. Come on in. Welcome. Hey Milan, do you know anybody with special skills? Bonnie is the leader, but he can't do anything right. He is undependable. It's really pitiful. He called me pitiful. It's the truth, right? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So, do you know anyone? I want to scout people with special skills. Nope. Yes, finding those kind of people is easier said than done. Huh? What a weird tent. <laughs> I wonder why it's here. Hello? Is anyone here? Excuse me. Is there a hoot nanny going on here? Oh, Milan, what are you doing here? And what is this place? Hi, welcome! Oh, wait, this is Mimi. Hi, welcome. I saw Barney's just mouth go wide open, so I thought he was talking. This is Barney's circus. And this is Barney, the Lita. And I'm Mimi. Hello! Wow, what a cool place. I'm Anne. Nice to meet you. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you know of anyone who has special skills, Anne? It isn't a special skill, but I can do some tricks. Anne? Anne, you can run away and join the circus. You don't have to be an innkeeper. That's amazing. Will you show me right now? I want to see it. Eh? How embarrassing, but I'll show you since you asked. Please do. Alright, I'll get ready. And now I'll begin. Oh, pfft. Oh, what the heck? She got summoned Dachan! Wow! Next, I'll make this bear vanish. Oh god. She's a witch! <laughs> Burn her! <laughs> Amazing, Anne! Ah, that was- I was so nervous, my heart raced the whole time. It was spectacular. I have something to ask you, Anne. What is it? Would you like to work here with those skills? You can easily make gold. Huh? Here? Yes, tomorrow you'll be a star. We'll work hard together. Er, uh, um, uh, s sorry. Run away, Anne. <laughs> she doesn't want to join the circus. <laughs> ah, she ran away. He. That's too bad. And here I thought we were gonna have a new member. Too bad. That's too bad. Mimi is scary. Let's regroup and search for members. 
Only I could hire the sprites to work for you. You'd be, you'd be spectacular. It would, it would be magical. All right. Well, that was Anne's hidden skills. I thought she was gonna do some acrobats or something, but she just did some magic tricks. Okay. Um, I do kind of want to end off here on this lovely Friday. Do I need to do some chores? Ooh, the grass is growing. I let my cows out too. Uh, I think off screen, I do want to see if I can get to Sky's birthday in the next episode, but I also want to uh, scum some friendship out of people. <laughs> But I also don't want to accidentally trigger events, so I, I'm gonna have to be pretty careful about, like, where I go, who I touch. But I'll try my best. But I'm hoping I can get... Who do I need? Grant and Kate. Probably Hugh and his family, and then Barney and Mimi I want to get to max friendship. And I think that's, that's like, the main people. Maybe Galland 200. I think we're pretty good with everyone else. Like, they either don't have a cutscene or, like, we, we're already, like, good enough with them that we can, we can trigger some other stuff. <clears throat> but yeah. I have to be careful. I think there's an event with Mimi. <laughs> if I... If I, uh, get her to 200 plus friendship, so maybe I'll do that last. I'll do Barney and Mimi last. Alright, let's get the cat. I think Grant's probably gonna be the hardest. It's cause he... He doesn't really stick around the house for that long. He might stick around on Fridays? Yeah, it looks like Fridays are his day off, so he's sticking around. Okay, so we'll do this off screen. Um, I'll try to do as many villagers as possible. Um, off screen without triggering any cutscenes on accident. So if I end up do triggering a cutscene, I just like, I'll, I'll trigger the cutscene in the next episode and then I'll continue like scumming them. All right, let's save over file one. So many, <laughs> so many new things to look at now, now, now that we have a kid and more stuff is unlocked. All right, well, I hope you guys had a relaxing time and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, bye-bye.